What's good guys, Dublin right here back with another video. Today we're looking at another major kill video, guys. Uh just how powerful the custodians really are. I know the custodians protect the emperor, so they gotta be somewhat yeah. <laughs> somewhat different. Yeah, I know I the thumbnail you said can they kill a frog mark. If they can protect the emperor, of course they have to they have to, they, yeah. I, they be able to kill a frog mark in my opinion. Well, so they guys, did, well, they almost killed the emperor. Hmm? Yep. <laughs> yeah, he basically he basically did. Yeah, so was they there? I don't uh, maybe I had to. Well, I think after the fact though, they now they there. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So guys, uh, if you want to see more uh, major kill videos, any other videos, guys, we do uh, Star Wars lore, uh, gaming, and also guys, we got another channel. Uh, we react to trailers. Eminem. Uh, link be in the description, Eminem guys, reaction. and uh, give us a subscribe there, guys. Support us, guys, on that channel, on that channel too, guys. And you react, we react to uh, movies, shows, and uh, trailers and stuff on that channel as well. So get it, uh. Get out of subscribe, guys, and let us know in the comments below you if you uh from this channel. And we also five uh subscribers away from 800 subscribers, guys. Uh, so yeah, guys, let's hit that uh get get there by the end of uh this week, guys. Yeah. Hit 800 subscribers. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Want to see more videos like this one? Uh, notification, guys. Uh, share button, guys. Uh, also keep following the MM channel in the description. And while further ado, guys, let's get into the video. Their aesthetic, attitude, and their own right up until relatively recently. They were the mysterious guardians of the Emperor, rarely seen and barely they, fought. They During a time crazy, period when GW bro. was pushing the shit out of Space Marine models they at the dress expense like, of literally uh, every other faction. Cause how the Emperor would dress too, a little yeah, bit in yeah, that way. They had to match. <laughs> Why you said it like that, bro? And they have the know, money. They couldn't just have a better version of a space marine cramping their style. Hence, in the earlier law, as far as just after 2010, they were considered the equal of a space marine. Differing in weapons okay. and fighting style, however, there is literally a quote in the law that goes something like, no one would dare say which of the two superhumans were deadlier in combat, implying that they were more or less equal. They were also said to be of equal size to a space marine, with the Stardis even claiming that they have identified fatal flaws in the custodian's fighting style. Wow. That being that custodies don't know how to fight in a squad, and thus are inferior to space marines that depend upon their squads. Argul Tal had it mm. described yeah, as space I, I can, marines I being see wolves they in have a pack like with custodians. I feel like it's better if you fight with like a squad. Nah, because if let's say if it's uh you if you can't win that way if you're protecting somebody though, you know you gotta learn how to fight your own being lone lions. Not to mention that in the first Fall of Prospero book, the Thousand Sons are able to delete custodians with ease and even say out loud, lol, these guys aren't so tough. So what the fuck happened? How did they go from these space marine offshoots, arguably inferior, to the god-tier doomslayer warriors that we see in Master of Mankind and in other lore since? Well, out of lore, the writers came together and decided that having two equally powered superhumans was fucking retarded <laughs> so they chose to make the custodians a quality over quantity faction quietly retconning them to become absolute beasts Ra Endymion was able to consistently kill any enemy space marine within just three hits the first Dang. two were to learn the enemy's attack pattern and the third was the killing strike he could well, have killed like him in two or maybe even one look strike look but it would have robbed him of his chance to continually learn about the enemy and how to best kill them contrast this with Aquilon who evenly match Argul Tull in their sparring sessions and it's a bit of a wild difference their fatal flaw of not being able to fight and score effectively was also kind of retconned to be that they were so confident in their own abilities yeah, and the abilities okay, I, of their I, squad I mates they that they were able though. to each give each other space and cover each other's blind spots with such perfect and subtle efficiency yeah, like I said, that it looked like a flaw, but it was actually a massive strength. So before we move on to their current in-law power, Old Law had custodian power as equal to that of a space marine, arguably better in 1v1 scenarios, but worse on a battlefield. Mm, it also had them very to, vulnerable to psychic attack. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what I said. It, it, that's what I said. If you protect somebody, you have to. It ain't gonna be no, I ain't talking. You said fighting a group though. Yeah, I know. I said if you protect somebody, you can't fight in a group. So they have to really face somebody one on one. Yeah, but then problem works only. Prom marks would only think about uh, fighting them for anyway, so that makes it one on one. Uh, probably a lot of uh, orcs, you know, got them out there. I don't know a powerful orc, but I know you would surely think orcs would, orcs got enough like thinking power to say I won't last a chance. Sure, <laughs> go with that. Attack. 
in which they relied on their Sister of Silence warriors to protect them from getting deleted by wackos shooting lightning out of their assholes. Current law, though it still does contain some bizarre examples of custodians getting sodomized, is significantly different. Firstly, let's skim over their creation to provide some context. Custodians don't have gene seed. They don't have extra organs. They are really? forged into superhumans at the very base code of their DNA. Meaning whilst the Stardis have two hearts and three lungs, a custodian still outperforms them with only one heart and two lungs. That's because crazy. The they they normal have like that? are so advanced and efficient that having extra is just totally redundant. A nice little side effect of this is that the custodian guards are normally proportioned. They don't have the giganticism effect that makes space marines so ugly. Well, be... space That's marines surprising. are the blood angels. Their bodies are more or less perfect. Each of them labeled a work of art never to be repeated, with even pretty fatal organ damage not doing much to slow them down. Wow. So that's their basic creation process. Let's look at their actual power. Durability first, as what's the point of being able to kill stuff super well if you can't handle a kick to the balls? Although it might seem like a custodian is more vulnerable to damage without backup organs, they can suffer organ rupture and cuts without too much drama. During the war in the webway, a custodian had their head blown open and a decent amount of his brain matter went with it. However, he continued to fight, not really realizing so well, I just heard he a regular perfect human, but he he survives that. No, bro. He was already dead. I mean, the fucking mad lad was actually able to evacuate with his fellow warriors, and despite looking a bit worse for wear and not being very talkative, he still stood up straight and continued on. It all just feeds <laughs> into their bodies being super advanced. Oh, man. If you stab a custodian in the heart, there's a decent chance that they will be able to clot the wound and survive. You'd have to use the opportunity of a heart stab to cut off their head or do something more permanent. Their My war gear is also dang. wildly advanced, using Aurora Might, which is significantly more powerful than Space Marine Sarah. Might. For context, the Emperor used Aurora Might in his battle plate. Yes, I know that didn't stop a naked world eater from punching a hole in an armored custodian, but sometimes the lore is a bit retarded. <laughs> and that's okay. Newer Everything custodians have also have some innate resistance to psychers and demons. They cannot be possessed or mind controlled, and psychers have difficulty turning their powers upon the custodians, even without their Sister of Silence companions. Custodians have tanked volleys of bolt of fire, can cut bullets out of the air, can survive horrific bodily injury, and have a near limitless pain tolerance. Not to mention they are yeah, demons in melee yeah. combat, so if you want to kill one, you really have to kill it. Yeah. What about their combat prowess and weapons? The custodians specialize in close to mid-range combat, however they do have specialist warriors for longer range engagements. There is very little in the galaxy that can beat a custodian in a duel. Even Nathaniel Garo, arguably in the top 4 space marine duelists to ever live, only bested one in a sparring cage due to the arrogance of the custodian. The entire duel, Garo said he was on the defense, barely able to parry as each block sent painful jolts up his entire body. The fact that all of their weapons, both sentinel blades or guardian spears, double as high caliber bolt guns just That's makes things crazy more spicy. Design, bro. Imagine you are dueling a golden god of war, barely able to survive. Then the golden sex lord just takes a step back and come blast you in the face with his weapon's gun. A common custodian tactic is also to charge you, spear first while firing, meaning you either die, <laughs> so your friends feet. die, or you are riddled with bullet holes even before you encounter the god tier warrior in melee combat. I know, right? There's also the issue of you getting stabbed and then while you're impaled, you get shot as well. Either way, you die. <laughs> Custodians will often also carry special knives that can cut through anything. So even if you manage to somehow disarm a custodian, or they've just thrown their spear and killed your best mate, you still have to deal with some more hectic shit. And this is just a standard custodian. Not talking about their Alaris Terminators, who are just disgustingly powerful and kind of unkillable, or their Dreadnoughts, who have that all the grace and speed of a crazy. custodian with the power and durability of a Dreadnought. By this point, it's pretty obvious that the custodians are way more powerful than Space Marines. I would argue mm -hmm. that what a Guardsman is to an Astar and Astartes is to a custodian. There are exceptions to this rule, with a very few select space marines that could hold their own or even beat a custodian. Really? These space marines yeah, include Sigismund, yeah, who is yeah, the greatest yeah. Astartes swordsman to ever live, Abaddon, who is so juiced up on warp steroids that he's almost Primark level now, Tyberos, who is, yeah, just fucking look at him, and yeah, Asterion, yeah, Lola, yeah, see who if the rumors are to believe, could even be a custodian himself. Also, Sevatar could probably manage it. He is a very cheeky boy, that one. However, does their ease of killing space marines extend to Towards other enemies. After all, custodians themselves have said that killing space marines feel natural, like their preferred prey. What? Can they kill orcs, tyranids, and elder just as easily? Well, yes, but no. When a massive Astartes force was taking on an even more massive greenskin wah, the orcs were winning. Horus, Rogal, Mortarian, and their Astartes legions were losing and on the brink of defeat. 
The Emperor and 1,000 custodians teleported into the battle and almost instantly killed the Orc war boss and 100,000 of their elite warriors. The custodians themselves only lost three men. So yes, custodies fuck orcs like I fuck my anime body pillow. The orcs crude, bulky strength based fighting style is perfect for the custodies liquid flowing combat that uses enemy size and momentum against them. The Tyranids follow a similar style. In a very recent bit of lore, a small custodian squad were able to take on the might of a Tyranid splinter fleet, numbering about 1 million Tyranids. They did hey. this by walking up to the top of a volcano and using a small choke point. And I shit you not, they literally just fucking killed all the Nids, including the swarm lord there was only six custodians and one of them actually survived the battle now this is a bit hectic but i'm not mad about it custodians she are my boys took them it really does show that they excel million, against board based six. enemies and cannon right. fodder each custodian can turn themselves into a meat grinder with the speed and strength of spinning their spear hence why they are so good at crowd control and are hard to overrun the Elder, however, makes significantly more challenging opponents, as they are the opposite of a Horgzerg bumrush faction. Like the Custodes, they are a quality over quantity thing. When a group of Elder Harlequins broke into the Imperial Palace in an attempt to give the Emperor a message, they were able to cut through and quite easily kill a number of Custodians. Mm. Now this lore isn't super great. Sure, if it was a Solitaire leading them, then okay, but it wasn't. They should have been trading blow for blow, or the Harlequins just been able to dodge and avoid the Custodes, not just one-shot them. But if we give <laughs> them the benefit of the doubt, we can just attribute it to the fact that the Custodes that were killed were new, and had never fought the Elder or Harlequins before. Okay, it did so end they with all really the know what they dead and captured, it. so it wasn't a total shit show. but it does highlight that a Custodian's preferred enemy is a straightforward one, not a slippery gypsy. Mm. In a similar vein to this, Custodians have a bit of difficulty with Dark Elder. One time in the lore, they were able to fight off the Drakari. However, the Dark Elder were able to kidnap a number of them, not something that is super easy to do. Overall though, no. Custodians aren't just a one-trick space marine killing pony. They are effective against any and all foes as they are fundamentally extremely versatile and adaptable. They pretty much never lose any battle or war, with the Imperium declaring certain war zones as a victory as soon as a group of Custodians decide that that will be their war zone of choice. This sounds <laughs> dumb, but I kid you not, like the it. Custodians always win. Oh, Except the war in the webway, but considering that was 10,000 Custodians versus countless millions of hypercharged demons backed up by Chaos Marines and Titan Legions, we'll give them a pass. But what about Primarchs? Can our boys take down the Emperor's sons? Maybe, but not in a fair 1v1. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, maybe. I thought what I just heard. Primarch would be Constantine Valdor, the once they tried Captain to, uh, General. Once they tried to say like they had trouble with uh, certain space yeah. marines and factions, yeah. He was able to briefly fight Alpharis to a standstill, with both warriors thinking that they could beat the other, and he even beat Horus in a sparring match. However, this was a newly reunited Horus, not Prime Horus. Single squads could also potentially manage it. When Rogel Dawn made an offhand threat that he would have to hurt a small squad of custodians, they replied, We would like to see you try my lord, and were pretty confident that they could take him down. Likewise, a few of the custodians that accompany Gilliman in the current era are also pretty confident that they could kill him if needed. The Emperor hmm. sent 20 custodians to watch over Lorgar, implying that he believed 20 Gilliman, custodians though. would be enough to kill Lorgar's honor guard and the Primarch if needed. Spoilers, it wasn't, but the custodians were also taken by surprise. For more combat-focused Primarchs, like Angron, they would need more than a small squad, probably like a dozen or so. Remember, a massive advantage Primarchs get when they fight is their enemy faltering and shitting themselves when they yeah, get too close. The Custodians don't big feel this transhuman or... dread and would be fighting at maximum efficiency and effectiveness. If Horus was able to get wounded by a Nurgalite walking corpse with a special knife, then I really don't see how he would take on 12 Custodians. Yeah, For Primarchs would... like Magnus, the Custodians would need some Sisters of Silence to have a chance. After all, Gilliman was only able to beat Magnus because of the Sisters of Silence. So overall, the Custodian Guard are very, very powerful, easily killing Space Marines and pretty much everything else. They are about five times better at killing demons than a Grey Knight, and only with a relatively few amount of them, they could probably kill a Primarch. I mean, just look yeah. at the Telemon Heavy Dreadnought. Two of those and a Primarch would be on their knees. If you enjoy the video and you want to support the channel, then... Yeah, I I thought Cotillion was like a bit more powerful than, but yeah. it's it's basically. But I can say I get all of it. But I, the one that thing that surprised me like that in the middle between Primarchs and Space Marines, good Space Marines. Yeah, 
But Mazda Pride, they perfect. They don't got no extra organs, no yeah. GNCs, and they like they that. They regular. Yeah, and they so they could, people, they, some things about heart styles and half yeah, of their yeah. face blown off. That's a surprising thing about my uh, about Custodian. So yeah, that was great. I never some of the things I never yeah. knew about Custodian. It's my first time really. It's my first time I ever hearing about Custodian. I heard we heard about them before when well, we I almost to, forgot. I yeah, know. when I heard about them, they used to, they protect the emperor and stuff. So that's how I that's all I knew, but. This is a deep dive in it. So, guys, let us know, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Amazing Kill videos. Uh, guys, also, uh, uh, MN Reactions, guys. Uh, we uh, react to uh, trailers and stuff on there, guys. So, give us a subscribe over there and comment below that you from this channel and let me know uh, that y'all are subscribing over there, guys. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. To, guys, five uh, subscribers away from 800 Hit subscribers. Like uh, notification, guys. Uh, share the video. Follow us on Twitter for channel updates. And we we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.